watching ahead of this storm. We zoom in, seeing some of these intense downpours, these colors in the purple that's indicating that we might have some hail. There were some indications that we could have some golf ball sized hail. And then looking at some of our uh, hail on our barrens, that's our product that picks up some of the hail sizes. Now this is higher up and we do have some very warm air underneath it. So I think they might be a little bit higher uh, as far as the the hail is concerned. It might say it's a lot not higher, but uh, larger at times, one and a half inches. Uh, but either way, you do not want to be out in this. And again, if you're just joining us, you're just wondering what's going on, all of these colors, these blinking boxes, in the red, we have a tornado warning. And this is in effect until 2.30 this afternoon. Uh, what we're looking for, the most intense part of the storm, We've got winds, very high winds, these high, these light, light green colors. That's indicating that we are seeing some uh, very high hail. Um, and we're also watching for spots across uh, the river, too. Notice in parts of northwestern Trimble County, that includes uh, you guys as well. So as I'm zooming out, you can even see another storm warning has been, uh, has been in effect just past that storm and that's going to be for folks in Carroll County. So this storm as it's exiting uh, has the ability to continue on that path. At this point the National Weather Service has this as a severe thunderstorm warning outside of this tornado warning but really the big the big story right now is that we got to watch this one carefully. So if you live in Madison and in Milton if you live anywhere within the premises of that red box that's blinking on the screen I want you to take your phone and get downstairs into the basement, get into an interior wall or closest into the interior part of your house if you don't have a basement. That's the safest place for you. Um, and this is until 2.30. So we're going to be watching the storm. It is moving off to the east around 40 to 50 miles per hour. And it does have, at some point, we were getting uh, reports of some golf ball sized hail. So definitely stay away from windows, even if you do not live inside uh, the area of the red box. There are severe thunderstorm warnings around those boxes. So it's good that you stay indoors and away from windows, especially with high winds. They could be knocking over tree limbs, branches. Those can go into windows and cause d damage. So be very, very careful if you live within the yellow boxes. But most importantly, and it does look like they're starting to trim back that tornado warning, still in Jefferson County and also encompassing part of Northwestern, uh, Tremble County and Jefferson County in Indiana. But right now, the most intense part of the storm, just watching this right here, you can see where these colors are coming together. We do have some very high winds. So take a look. This wind velocity is picking up on winds over 74 miles per hour. And so definitely stay away from any windows. Get to your basement if you live in this red blinking box at least until 2.30. And if you don't have a TV in your basement, grab your phone or just stay in your basement until 2.30. And that is when likely the storm will be passing uh, from your area and moving on to uh, off to the east. And at this point, it is moving around 40 to 50 miles per hour. It's approaching Madison right now. And you can see starting to wrap around there a little bit. And these colors, what we're seeing, the purples, we could be seeing some hail. And so that's something that you definitely don't want to be out in, head indoors, even if you don't live inside that red blinking box you live outside you are still in a severe thunderstorm warning and this storm is very intense we are watching for hail that could be the size of golf balls at times wanted to look at some of the the path that the hail has fallen and you can just see how this is moving here's our hail tracker i want to take a look outside and I'm trying to get some of these boxes off but you can see some of the most intense parts of there and those dark colors those are the larger uh, areas of hail but it's still with this storm and this is part of that tornado warning I want to just show you again as we're zooming in even further we are seeing even higher wind gusts take a look where that yellow color is that might be anomalous uh, but either way this is a very intense storm 80 mile per hour winds 53 per mile per hour winds and this is in the area 
that's highlighted in the red box. So we're gonna need you to take cover if you're just joining us. Uh, what you need to be is away from windows with uh, when it comes to the severe weather and tornado safety. Listen, uh, if you are in a mobile home, you need to find a safer spot. Uh, interior room of a home or building also is uh, much safer than a mobile home, but if you have a basement or a storm shelter, please head there now. So I wanna show you once again where we're seeing our tornado warning. And this is right over Madison and Milton right now. This is where we are seeing some incredibly high winds. Looking, this uh, storm is just wrapping around right now. And at this point, it's very dangerous. If you are watching us from Madison or Milton, just go to the basement. You don't need you don't need me. Just go to the basement at least until 2:30. That is when this storm is going to be past you. At this point, the tornado warning is going to be expiring at 2:30 this afternoon. We are getting some more information from the National Weather Service. They are going to continue this uh, tornado warning for Jefferson County, Indiana, and for Tremble County uh, until 2.30. At this point, uh, it, a confirmed tornado was located over Madison. That makes sense. Look at this, the way it's wrapping around here. Uh, if you live in Madison, get to a safe place now. Uh, there was golf ball size hail, a damaging tornado. Uh, this is not radar indicated, but a confirmed tornado over Madison. It's moving east at 45 miles per hour. Uh, and uh, at this point, it looks like they're gonna go ahead and issue a s another tornado warning just downstream of this. And so I want you ahead of time for folks in Carrollton, that includes you guys. I want you to also take cover. This is another spot, Carrollton, Vivet, Everyone, you're, I want you in your basement. Uh, this next warning that's uh, in place, this thing is moving 45 miles per hour. So if you're in Carroll County, yeah. I want you in your basements. This also goes until 2.30. Uh, and then further north, we've got that severe thunderstorm warning. This is all part of the same storm. What they've done is highlighted the most intense part of the storm and that path that it's taking. So you who are under the tornado warning, that's where that path is uh, headed. But folks that live outside of that strongest path, you are still in that severe thunderstorm warning. So look off to the north and you're seeing in parts of Switzerland uh, County that we're gonna want you to also stay away from any windows. But if you live in those blinking red boxes, head to the basement immediately. This thunder or this uh, severe thunderstorm warning for outside of the viewing of, of the tornado warning, still stay away from your doors, your windows, stay inside until the storm passes. But right now we have two tornado warnings uh, in the viewing area. One is right over Madison. It is a confirmed tornado and we are seeing some very high winds uh, with this storm. I want to show you some of the wind velocities that we are picking up on as we query this over 100 mile per hour uh, at times, 75 miles per hour, 80 miles per hour. And the way it's moving is now starting to move uh, away from Madison, but now crossing over the river into Carroll County. And you guys are now under that tornado warning as well. And that is gonna be going until 2.30. So if you're just joining us, I do wanna show you that we are we have two tornado warnings and these are going until 2.30 this afternoon. One right now, a confirmed tornado from the National Weather Service and the latest warning that went out uh, was over Madison, Indiana, moving east at 45 miles per hour. And there are also indications of golf ball sized hail. Let me stop this and just show you some of the reflectivity that we are seeing. And in this area, this is where we're seeing some heavy downpours. We've got uh, very uh, large hail falling at times. And then here's where we're seeing that wrap around uh, the winds, they're starting to turn and rotate. And this is the most intense part of the storm over Madison and Milton. You guys, if you are not in your basement, get there now and wait there until the storm passes. If you don't have a TV down there, that's okay. Bring your phone and just stay there until 2.30. We want you to be safe. You don't need to be watching me. You need to be in your basement right now. And also for folks who are in the path of this storm, Take a look, it's not over Carrollton right now, but you are part of that tornado warning. And Vive, also everyone, just head to your basement until the storm passes.
Uh, we do have our meteorologist, Daniel Johnson. He is standing by. And I'm not sure if you were able to see any of the warnings that have come through, but right now what we have is two tornado warnings and two severe thunderstorm warnings all surrounding this same storm. Daniel. Yeah, and Mo, the, the concern is we were watching uh, the National Weather Service uh, issue these watches earlier. It was a severe thunderstorm watch north of the metro earlier. We had a round of storms roll through, non-severe. And then this one little storm that had just kind of hung around behind that initial line has now gone tornadic and severe. So the one thing Mo was mentioning is we do have a tornado confirmed on the ground. This is on the ground right around the Madison area. So you need to get in your safe spot immediately. And as Mo mentioned, get as many walls between you and the outside. And this is just one thing meteorologists look for on radar to give you a sign of rotation, a sign that there could be a tornado, and it's a hook. I mean, you could just see that hook right there just east of Madison. And it does appear like the worst of the storm is now beginning to push just east of Madison. That doesn't mean if you're in Madison to get out of your safe spot, stay there, please, and continue uh, to just stay in your safe spot until the all clear is given. But we do have emergency management in the Madison area telling us in Jefferson County, Indiana, telling us that there is a tornado on the ground. The National Weather Service has confirmed that. And you can just see that little ball right there. That is likely where the tornado is, just right around the Madison Milton area. Yep, and there it is. That's the rotation that Mo just popped up for me on velocity. When you see the green colors and the red colors just touching each other right there, that's exactly where the tornado is on the ground. And this is a confirmed tornado from the National Weather Service. They've issued a special tornado warning to let everyone know it's confirmed. Sometimes they issue these warnings when you just see some radar rotation and you're not sure if it's on the ground. Then they issue other types of warnings when it's confirmed. So this is a confirmed tornado on the ground in the Madison area. Looks like the tornado on the ground right now is just pushing off to the east. And you can just see uh, some impressive radar uh, indicators here and the purples Mo mentioned it earlier likely some large hail possibly golf ball size hail so even if you're not in the confirmed tornado location I would say still get into a safe spot right now large hail can do some damage uh, to your home and especially to those cars that are outside and this is the uh, some of the hail path and what's going on the size of the hail an inch and a half hail so that is fairly large so it's not just the tornado concern it's the large hail concern we're watching too and again just to get everyone's bearings here this is not in the metro this is jefferson county indiana uh also uh, including uh, or did earlier and include portions of uh, trimble county and it is pushing off to the east and if you're watching us in Carrollton, i would get in your safe spot too to be safe because this piece of energy where the tornado is confirmed is approaching the area and it looks like it it might stay just north of Carrollton but you never know with these systems they can make a really quick unexpected jogs north south so we'll watch it closely the storm itself dr uh, drifting off to the east but now looking to push away from the Madison area here but this is where we're concerned right along uh, just an east of Madison. If we can zoom in just a little bit, Mo, maybe some more town names popping up, maybe some roads showing up uh, right along here, but you can see uh, right along 36 there is where we have some very dangerous conditions, some very strong winds, and a tornado likely on the ground. It is confirmed. Emergency management has let the National Weather Service know the tornado uh, is on the ground in portions of Indiana here in Jefferson County. So the worst of it now pushing into eastern portions of Madison and even east, uh, further east of there. Carrollton, get in your safe spot if you're watching us there because this tornado is moving off to the east at a, a fairly quick pace here. And there's the latest radar update and you can see the worst of it just rolling right across 36 as we speak. Large hail in the purple area, some very heavy rain and dangerous lightning too. We'll continue to monitor this as well. And I believe this is until is the new updated one past 2.30. Uh, yes. It's going. Well, what I wanted to sh tell you right, right away is that the Tremble County tornado warning has been expired. They okay. canceled that one, uh, but now this is uh, pushing into uh, Carroll County. So we got to be watching this one closely, trying to get some more information about this next warning. So this is yeah, going to go until 2.30. So the thing is, it's moving so fast 
that all of these are expiring around the same time. So it's just kind of op giving that extra space just in case the storm takes a jog a little further to the south. Right now it's moving east around 45 miles per hour, uh, 40 miles per hour at times. So it's it's slowed down, it speeds up it, a, a little a little slight turn to the south, and that's why they could. Uh, that's why they. I think they've added a little bit more further south of uh, Carrollton right now. But do keep in mind, even if you don't live in the blinking red box, there is a severe thunderstorm warning surrounding uh, much of this area, and so there is still a possibility that you can have damage to your house because of these gusty winds uh, and with large hail. Uh, some of these winds gusting through trees can knock trees over, so we just want to make sure that you are staying safe. But at this time, Tremble County, you are at this point in the clear from that tornado warning, uh, but the other tornado warning is now encompassing parts of Carroll County. So that's what we're watching right now. And uh, at this point, I'm trying to find more information about this next warning, uh, but what we are watching for are winds that were gusting over 70 miles per hour and there was that confirmed uh, on the ground from the National Weather Service. Yeah and I did want to mention just a couple of town names that are popping up here that could be in the path. As I mentioned if you're in Carrollton please get in your safe spot right now. You are under a tornado warning. This new tornado warning is in effect for portions of Switzerland and Carroll counties and this is moving east pretty quickly as Mo mentioned at 45 miles per hour. So again Carrollton, Sanders, Worthville, Prestonville, Braytown, uh, right along Interstate 71 at mile marker 52. So these are areas in the path of this uh, tornado. Locust, English, Eagle Station, uh, please get in your safe spot. Uh, this is a very impressive storm, Mo, on radar. I mean, it really has the classic hook echo. We've been watching this little hook at the very uh, far southwestern portion of the supercell, and this is a supercell, and that is where we're watching for that tornado. And it is an observed tornado. This is not just rotation we see on radar. We see rotation on radar and someone has witnessed the tornado on the ground. This is a serious matter. So this rotation is getting closer to Carrollton. So please, again, I've mentioned it, Carrollton, for those of you there, take shelter now. Get in your safe spot. If you don't have a basement, the best place to be is in an interior room. Get as many walls between you and the outside. Stay away from windows. That's not a safe spot to be. So you can see some greens and the pinks really showing up here. We have a larger set of green up here. That's probably localized wind gusts. This is where that tornado is on the ground here where the pinks and the greens are touching just to the northwest of Carrollton. So a scary situation here rolling into town and we're watching it closely. Uh, it moved through Madison just about seems very quickly just a few minutes ago. So it is a very fast mover and uh, we can see the worst of it is still kind of just taking a trip right along 36 and it's heading toward Carrollton here. Uh, we're looking at very strong wind gusts and uh, even for those located up here, uh, take cover here because we have very strong winds. We have actually some uh, golf ball size hail being reported as well and being a possibility within this storm. The National Weather Service has also issued a severe thunderstorm warning that includes Carrollton. So it's not just a tornado warning, it's the severe thunderstorm warning in effect as well. So even if there's not a tornado within uh, this box where we already know it is, it's an observed tornado, they also issued the severe thunderstorm warning uh, to cover the wind gusts that are going to be associated with the storm because the strong winds aren't just located where the tornado is, the strong winds are located out away from where that tornado is on the ground as well. So because it's moving so fast, that kind of plays a role into the factor of strong winds. So the faster a storm moves, Usually the quicker the winds are going to gust as well. Uh, so here we go. Uh, we're putting on some town names here. Sanders, uh, Sanders here, uh, Carson, Easter Day as well. So please take cover. Carrollton, get in your safe spot. That rotation is getting very, very close to you as we speak. And we're going to stay with you guys here because this is a storm that has an observed tornado on the ground. So uh, this is a very dangerous situation uh, in particular for portions of uh, southern Indiana. Uh, and also we're watching, as we mentioned, Carroll County and Switzerland County as well under this tornado warning. And it's moving quickly, so it's going to be in Carson at right around uh, 237 here. Uh, so just a little ways away, 238 in Sanders uh, and pushing east of there. And this is really the only storm we're watching at this hour. And then we'll get a break this afternoon for everyone. And then another round of storms will roll through likely after midnight tonight. And that's when the Metro will be in play. Uh, for some strong to severe storms later on tonight.
after midnight. But this is the one we're watching, the only one that has a severe thunderstorm warning or tornado warning within our viewing area. And we're watching it closely because it is an observed tornado, a tornado on the ground right now. In, uh, earlier, it was in Madison, now pushing toward Carrollton here. And so, Daniel, I yeah. wanted to let you know we just got word from Madison Dispatch that we've got uh, that there were trees down. They said that major damage to houses, uh, the word destroyed was used. Uh, so, and also they're working on a gas leak in Madison right now. Yeah. A lot going on, and this is where the storm just left, where they had that confirmed tornado. And there we are watching it uh, continuing to move off to the east around 45 miles per hour. Uh, and it is now at this point from the National Weather Service, they said it, the confirmed tornado was located near Carrollton. So if you are in Carrollton and you are watching us on TV, it better be in the basement. If not, leave the TV, leave us, go to the basement and stay there until the storm passes. This is a confirmed tornado that has already caused damage to trees and homes in Madison, Indiana, and it is now pushing uh, through Carrollton, and it's going to continue this easterly progression around 45 miles per hour, and winds are gusting over 70 miles per hour. We've got golf ball size hail. This is a very intense storm. And the conditions, Mo, have been really ripe ahead of this. The Storm Prediction yep. Center put us in that slight risk mm -hmm. uh, just north of the metro for this afternoon. And then we'll start to get some storms here in our area, uh, in the metro at least, uh, later on. But this is the one that is very concerning. Still has that traditional, the classic hook echo that you can see. Just a little hook showing up on radar. That is where the tornado is located. In. And where is it? Carrollton. So please get in your location, your safe spot uh, as we discuss this, especially the north side of Carrollton. We're looking at uh, that's where likely the tornado is on the ground as we speak. And uh, we are in constant contact with the National Weather Service. Mo's checking that for us. That's where she's getting all the updates from uh, all the tree damage, the house damage as well. And, of course, stor uh, storm survey teams will be sent out to these locations to see what the type of damage that has uh, been done. Emergency management officials, we're talking with them as well. They're sending us information, ground reports to let us know. Uh, some more uh, towns, as we mentioned already, uh, heading through the next uh, several minutes, it is approaching uh, off to the east. So we're looking at by uh, 237, it's going to be in the Carson area. So if you're watching us in Carson, take cover Sanders as well by 239 this afternoon and then pushing east of there, eventually pushing out of our viewing area. But right now, right around the Carrollton area uh, is where that observed tornado is located. We already had it touched down in the Madison area and it's likely still on the ground as we're looking at this rotation. Still looking pretty impressive on radar and even reflectivity that Mo has popped up for us here. It's even showing some localized core, uh, cores of um, heavy downpours and also damaging hail. I mean, we're talking mm -hmm. golf ball size hail, Mo, so yes. impressive. Take a look at this path too. This storm, I mean, has been holding together that hail yeah. and where you're seeing those darker shades that's where it uh, was really coming down intensely and also on the larger side and just take a look at that hail core uh, as it was moving over parts of or leaving Jefferson Indiana and then moving into Carroll County going across the river and I do want to let you know they have trimmed back those uh, the tornado warning in Jefferson Indiana in Jefferson County, Indiana. So that is down, that is expired. Uh, and also the severe thunderstorm warnings for both Scott County and Jefferson County. But now the big story is still what's going on in Carroll County. So this is going to continue until 2.30, uh, this tornado warning in that red box. And as you can see, this is, uh, you can see that classic hook from this uh, supercell. And we have got very high winds uh, with this system. And also just getting word from Madison Dispatch that they have a gas leak that they're working on and also damage to homes and trees. This is a very intense storm, this uh, confirmed tornado that was on the ground. Uh, but at this point, they have at least canceled part of that tornado warning for Jefferson County in southern Indiana and in Madison. However, there has been extensive damage. And as we start getting pictures, uh, we will let you know about that and show you what we are seeing. Uh, but right now, we really just got to get your attention to folks in Carroll County and get you in the basement until the storm passes. Yeah, uh, definitely a scary situation for those living uh, in the Madison and Carrollton area where we have this observed tornado on the ground. We have a lot of wind. We have a lot of hail associated with it. So a lot of different hazards impacting 
local neighborhoods that we are watching here. So, wow, two inch hail, three inch hail showing up here. So that's verifying what the National Weather Service was mentioning in terms of golf ball size hail impacting this area. So we have the hail, we have the gusty winds, not even associated with the tornado, just associated with the supercell. And then we have the destructive winds associated with the tornado. I mean, we have homes confirmed, damaged or destroyed, and uh, a lot of uh, damage going on across this area. So this impacts uh, portions of southwestern. So a new tornado warning, it looks like, has now popped up. Uh, that includes now more central and eastern Carroll County. It looks like here, and still portions of uh, Switzerland County, right? Uh, up here. Yes. So just a couple of counties here still within the tornado warning that we're watching. It looks like the worst of it has now rolled through Carrollton. It's pushing out of the Carrollton area, but still the Carrollton city itself, but still in the Carrollton area and pushing through Carroll County. And it is really moving fast at 45 to 50 miles per hour or so. Uh, hail likely uh, just north of Carrollton as well. You can see some of the blacks showing up in the pinks as well. Uh, I might pr pronounce this incorrectly, Vive. Uh, Vive. Vive. Uh, we're looking at uh, where we can have some really strong winds here and some hail about to move in momentarily, especially on the north side of that town. So uh, this system continues to roll off to the east. For those of you in Carson, you're in the path of this. Glencoe as well. Uh, Sparta, you are in the path of this storm as this tornado, which has been observed for minutes on end here for at least the past uh, half hour, almost half hour, uh, moving quickly off to the east. So really strong winds impacting Carroll County as we speak. And uh, not only the tornado warning, but we have the severe thunderstorm warning in effect too for the hail and the wind aspect of the storm. And of course the tornado warning uh, for the tornadic part of the storm. So just a reminder, those of you possibly tuning in right now, and if you live east of Carrollton and you live into portions of Carroll County itself, and you're saying, wait a minute, it's, the winds are calm here, the sky, you know, it's a little dark, but it's heading for you if you're in eastern Carroll County. So please take cover. Get into a basement. If you don't have a basement, get into an interior portion of your house, usually a bathroom uh, toward the interior portion of your house away from windows. Just get as many walls between you and the outside. You don't want to be against the wall that borders the outside or against the wall that has uh, a lot of windows or really any windows at all and that's just going to keep you safer. Uh, we were looking at uh, reflectivity coming up here as well and also velocity will pop that up for you. So yeah, here are some tornado safety tips uh, where you can be. So the safest place is an interior room away from the outside which is the name interior. So as many walls between you and the outside. A basement of course is the safest place. You don't want to be in a large open room. You don't want to be in a vehicle. Really don't want to be caught in a vehicle here. Uh, so that's not a safe place to be. You want to be uh, inside a sturdy structure away from windows. So we were looking at the latest velocity reflectivity that was starting to show a little bit that it could be weakening some. It still has a hook echo, so we're not out of the woods for sure, but still a very impressive storm here. And you can see that little notch. When you see that hanging down uh, from the storm, uh, that's when uh, you're definitely seeing a severe storm and possibly tornadic storm. So it looks like the rotation's not as tight, Mo. It's still there. I yeah. mean, it's really showing up here. You can see the pinks and the green. So broad rotation uh, showing up, indicative of where that tornado possibly could be into portions of uh, Carroll County. And for those folks who are in this red blinking box, I mean, you heard Daniel get to your safe place. Uh, this storm is now moving out of Carrollton. So if you are listening uh, or watching on your phone in your basement from Carrollton, uh, it is uh, now past you. However, uh, folks in Vive, I want you to find your safe space. This is wrapping around you and heading right over you. So this is a very intense storm. Uh, it's already caused damage to trees. The word destroyed was used for some of the houses in Madison and they're also working on a gas leak in Madison. These intense uh, winds are causing big problems. Uh, we've got reports uh, trying to look from the National Weather Service uh, trying to get anything. Uh, Damage was reported throughout Jefferson County in southern Indiana. A trailer flipped in Milton, Kentucky. Uh, dis dispatch has made calls and they said someone was trapped uh, so this is a very intense storm. You do not want to be outside. You want to be away from all windows and doors. Get to your safe place, especially if you live within the red boxes that are flashing right now on your screen. Uh, as 
and at this point, this tornado warning where this tornado is moving, this is going to continue now until 3 o'clock. That's for Owen County uh, and Gallatin County. That is outside of our viewing area. But Carroll County, we got you. 2.30. You got to hang out a little bit longer. We are watching this. We'll likely extend this because uh, for folks who are now leaving just past Carrollton, this is still part of Carroll County. So we want to make sure you are safe uh, at this time. But right now, the most intense part of the storm uh, right on your screen over Vive and over the Ohio River uh, along 42. We are watching this just wrapping up around uh, some of these small towns and causing some major damage. And the National Weather Service just sent 30 seconds ago um, saying that the tornado is still on the ground in Carroll County. So uh, we did mention that there are some signs it's weakening, but this seems to be a very powerful tornado. So it is still on the ground according to the National Weather Service. So uh, please stay in your safe spot. Again, Mo mentioned you're in the clear in Carrollton, but eastern portions, central and eastern portions of Carroll County itself, the tornado is still on the ground and, and working its way uh, through the county and eventually heading east of there because it is moving at a very quick clip. But uh, right now, a very dangerous storm, a tornadic storm, a tornado warning still in effect, and it looks like uh, that new tornado warning is in effect until 3 o'clock, uh, central Switzerland County, eastern Carroll County, and then that's pushing into Owen County uh, as well. Uh, that'll be until 3 o'clock, but we still have a hook echo uh, showing up there and a very impressive storm. And I'm seeing it. I don't have access to social media to get this out to you, but I'm looking at some of the pictures that are coming in on the National Weather Service, and that hail is they got a picture of a penny and some hail that looks two to three size, uh, times the size of that penny. So uh, you do not want to be out in that at all, uh, especially even if you don't live in the area that has the blinking red box. That's the tornado warning. There is still a severe thunderstorm warning outside of it. So do not be outdoors. Stay away from your windows and make sure that you are in a safe place no matter what. This is a very strong storm, and with the tornado still on the ground, you do not want to be anywhere uh, near that. Make sure that you are in your basement or the most interior part of your house, away from any windows, any doors. Just keep yourself safe at this point. Uh, the, as Daniel just said, they extended that warning in Carroll County until 3 o'clock this afternoon, and we are going to stay with you. Uh, on air until then. Yeah, and once it pushes out of the viewing area, for sure, we'll get you back to your regularly uh, scheduled programming here. But this is an observed tornado, a dangerous situation. We had it observed in Madison. It rolled through right around Carrollton, and now it's affecting central and eastern portions of Carroll County, where the National Weather Service is confirming this tornado is still on the ground in Carroll County. And the storm system as a whole is moving off very quickly at around 45 to 50 miles per hour or so. So a very dest uh, destructive storm system uh, rolling through Carroll County earlier, rolling through Jefferson County, Indiana, and uh, portions of Trimble County as well. Now it's impacting Carroll County, and a new tornado warning now impacting counties east of Carroll County. But look at the black just showing up here. That is hail, most likely. We're getting reports of hail. We're getting pictures of hail. And some of this could be golf ball size hail as well. That's just another hazard, another concern uh, that we're watching within this storm. Uh, but the, the biggest concern, of course, is that tornado that is con confirmed on the ground still at this hour in Carroll County. The new tornado warning that does still include Carroll County, eastern Carroll County, is until 3 o'clock p.m. now. Uh, so we're watching that. And that's a very quick moving storm system. So it's going to be zooming out if you're quickly, which means if you're watching us ahead of the storm, please uh, pay attention because look what's happening now. It's approaching 71 a main highway here heading off to the north and east. So into Carroll County, it's moving at a pretty quick clip and it's about to roll through uh, areas where I'm sure a lot of cars are driving on that busy highway on 71. But if Mo, if you don't mind zooming out just a little bit across the entire area, a little bit more to show the Metro because this is it. I mean, this is the only storm that we're watching, but this is just one line that we were watching earlier. There was a more organized line of storms that rolled through Indiana earlier, and now this is kind of a little last storm that's hanging out on the tail end of that initial line that rolled through north of the metro, and then another line of storms will roll through tonight, likely after midnight. That will impact most of the WLKY viewing area, if not all of us, and some of those storms could pack a punch 
as well. So we're going to watch that closely when the metro gets in on some of this impact weather later on tonight. So the Storm Prediction Center has still has our area under a slight risk for storms. And that's a level two out of five here. And that includes Litchfield, E-Town, uh, all of Bullitt County, most are all of Oldham County here, Jefferson County, Kentucky, and points north and west. So we are not out of the woods yet. It's going to be quiet. Once this one storm in Carroll County moves out of here, it's going to be quiet for several hours for the entire WLKY viewing area. And then as we approach the midnight hour tonight and after that, another round of storms will roll through and we're getting up close to 80 degrees at this hour here in Louisville. So conditions are ripe for potential severe weather later on tonight. So we'll watch that closely. Right now though, we are watching the one in Carroll County. This is an impressive storm here. Look how high, high up the storm is in terms of the clouds and the, the bubble bubbling up of the clouds and the storm height. It's going up to 30,000 feet or higher. So that just goes to show you how impressive a storm is. That's where airplanes fly at the level of 30,000 feet. So when you get storms going that high up or higher, you know it's a very powerful uh, and impactful storm. So uh, that tornado warning remains in effect until 3 o'clock this afternoon for Carroll County here. And uh, the storm continues to move off at a pretty fast clip. It's right on top of 71, uh, it looks like, at this hour. Very heavy rain, dangerous lightning. And, uh, yeah, if, you, if we can pop up velocity really quickly just to get a quick uh, image of that to see what's going on. Yeah, we still have some rotation going on for sure uh, where the green and the pink colors are touching each other. We have one little, uh, oh, yeah, that's impressive here uh, with winds. Uh, we're looking at inbound and outbound winds toward the radar and away from the radar at pretty high up in elevation. But overall, uh, when you have something like that with velocity over 100 miles per hour, uh, that's uh, pretty impressive here. So this is where the tornado likely is at this hour. We have some little rotation, uh, some really strong winds within the green showing up there. But yeah, this is likely where it is uh, right there on the border. So we're going to watch it closely. Uh, pushing east at a very fast clip. I believe it's still moving at around uh, 45. Yeah, still 45 miles per hour to the east. So Carroll County still under that uh, tornado warning until 3 o'clock. But notice, Carrollton, you're in the clear now. Hopefully there wasn't a lot of damage done there, but we do have, we did have that observed tornado roll through the Carrollton area. And now the storm system uh, continues to move off to the east. So uh, for those of you in uh, Crittenden at 304, Dry Ridge, 305, Glencoe at 247. So in just 10 minutes, it's going to be in the Glencoe area. So those of you there, get into your safe spot right now. You'll need to get to a basement or the lowest level of your house, an interior room, as many walls between you and the outside away from windows. But this is the path moving off to the east at 45 miles per hour. Do we have any updates from the National Weather Service? Any more pictures, reports uh, from Jefferson County or Carroll County? Not getting any. Earlier? I'm still waiting on some, uh, some reports on social media, but really just seeing very large hail yeah. uh, at this point, uh, up to two, three inches in size. Uh, and at this point now, it looks like Vive, the storm is passed. Uh, so this is going to be moving out of Carroll County in short order and then moving its way in uh, and still with that tornado warning into Gallatin County. Uh, but this should be trimmed back soon as soon as the last edge of this storm uh, moves out of Carroll County. Yeah. Uh, and still trying to monitor the National Weather Service feed and see if we can't get anything else from them. But right now, most of the damage that we have heard about is in Madison, Indiana, where houses were, they use the word destroyed, uh, trees, major damage there, and then a gas leak that they're working on in Madison, Indiana right now. Yeah, so a lot of uh, damage reports coming in. Of course, uh, the National Weather Service will send uh, storm survey teams to really look at the, the damage in detail. But uh, a scary day for a lot of neighborhoods here with uh, an actual observed tornado that we had on the ground. And the National Weather Service still mentioning that this tornado uh, could still be on the ground. So it looks like it's crossing 71 as we speak here. And as uh, Mo mentioned, pushing out of Carroll County as we speak. I mean, this is a fast storm. Just a few minutes ago, it was in Carrollton. So very quickly moving system, which is good news in terms of we want it out of the area. But with it moving so fast at a fast clip, that can really make the straight line winds uh, even stronger here. And the tornado itself is just another aspect of it that's putting its own wind and own damage down. So 
uh, a very uh, scary storm system that we're staying with you guys to keep you updated here throughout the storm system. And once they trim this tornado warning back from Carroll County, and as it continues to push out of the viewing area, we'll get you back to your regularly program, uh, regular program. But uh, right now, still a dangerous situation here uh, with uh, an impressive storm showing up with lots of hail. I mean, the hail core has stuck together for so long as well. So we're watching it very closely. And it does look like the back edge of that is now pushing out of Carroll County, so that is some good news. Uh, but as the damage reports do come in, we're going to make sure that we let you know on social media. Uh, but for folks who are still watching, whether or not you're in our viewing area, I want you to still, uh, if you are part of in, inside that red blinking box, if you live in Gallatin County and you're able to watch us, please stay in your safe spot and safe place until at least 3 o'clock when the storm passes. And of course, we have a whole team of meteorologists here, Mo. Uh, we Chief sure Meteorologist do. Jay Cardosi. Yes. Yeah, what a nasty storm, guys. What a nasty storm. You guys have done a great job tracking this thing all the way since it was back in Scott County, Southern Jennings County, now through uh, Gallatin County. It's pretty much moving out of the viewing area as we mm -hmm. speak. So we're going to get you back to programming here within the next couple of minutes. But you can see as Mo and yeah, Daniel have been talking about, this thing is flying. It's and just move, go ahead. Look at how, how it progressed. I mean, this was just a couple of heavy downpours, some rumbles of thunder. It started with uh, an intense, severe thunderstorm and quickly went tornadic. Yeah. And has been doing so for the last hour. And not to make light of the situation, because you can't in this situation with the damage this thing has produced. We call this a tail end Charlie. It's on the back edge of a line of thunderstorms that actually has pretty much fallen apart off to the northeast as it moved into Ohio. But this last thunderstorm was un unimpeded. It had no competition as far as the environmental winds are concerned, the inflow, the moisture, and it just gobbled up the instability, the moisture, the wind flow. Well, the end result you can see right there, a supercellular thunderstorm that really started to wrap up, became tornadic as it was immediately west of Madison, just north of Hanover, went through Madison, causing sub uh, substantial damage to homes, to businesses. As Mo and Daniel have been talking about, we have gas leakages as well from what we're hearing. Homes have been, Mo, as you said, destroyed. Destroyed, not just damaged, but destroyed. So this was, this was a tornado that was on the violent side and looking at some of the velocities, looking at uh, you know some of the wind patterns in this storm as it moved across the Madison area, the VV area, easily folks, this could be an EF2, EF3. We're gonna have to wait and see obviously. Uh, do some assessing as the storm moves on through. But yeah, this is in Gallatin County now, still a very well-defined hook echo, tornadic thunderstorm, moving out of the WLKY viewing area, now pushing along 71, will soon be passing over towards I-75, east and northeast of the viewing area. Just to give you some perspective, here's Warsaw and also Gallatin County. This is Carroll County, Carrollton. This is our viewing area, so we're pretty much out of the woods as far as thunderstorm activity goes. Matter of fact, let's pull out, Mo, and take a look at the entire viewing area. And as Daniel alluded to just a few short moments ago, that's it. I mean, this is the only storm. This is one storm that caused all the problems, really firing up out around Scottsburg and really becoming intense and tornadic as it moved across Madison and points off to the east-northeast and now moving into northern Kentucky as you get towards that confluence of 71 and 75 off to the northeast. Metro, the rest of the viewing area, void of any showers and storms. It's warm. It's a little bit muggy out there. It's on the breezy side, but it is dry. I think we're capped off for now. That means that not expecting any storms the rest of the afternoon, even into the early evening. But uh, I'm thinking, Mo, uh, uh, Daniel, after 10, 11 o'clock tonight, Yeah, correct? closer to the midnight hour. And, yeah, yeah that, that's there. the next time we, we think we're going to see a blow-up of storms across the viewing area. Those storms should fire north and west of the metro, kind of congeal into a line, and then press off towards the southeast. And that's why we do have the risk for severe weather, a slight risk on a scale of 1 to 5. This is a two, 
So we have to we have to watch this thing. Uh, the farther southwest you go toward places like Arkansas, southern Missouri, that really starts to ramp up to a enhanced region. That's where there could be more violent tornadoes. But for us and for later tonight, okay, the primary threats will be more of a straight line wind and there could be some hail as the storms initially fire late uh, this evening. But yeah, pushing on into the evening, we're looking pretty good as far as storm activity, Daniel. And I believe we have some chopper footage. If we're able to pop it up, they were able to see the storms in the distance, some yeah. of the clouds, the towering queue. I'll tell you what, when I was driving in, you yeah. could, oh my goodness, that storm, the, the, the structure on that thing, on that supercell was just mind boggling, even from the Metro, do we have the video? Yeah, let me know guys, uh, control room, Just if we do, I, we might be able to have it. If you guys aren't able to pop it up, let us know. But um, okay. I believe we had some chopper footage from earlier. Okay, while well, we're waiting for live. that. No, Mo, it's live, actually, live footage, yeah. Oh, live footage, okay. Mo, uh, we'll stand by. Any, any new data coming in from NWS on the chats? All is that what we're, we're seeing is that the storm is just continuing. It's pushing out of the viewing area. However, yeah. uh, they were saying that the, there's the possibility of tennis ball sized hail with this storm uh, and it is now that's pushing into uh, Switzerland County and we're also getting some information that dispatch says several structures are down uh, Patton Hollow at State Road 56 now that's in Switzerland County but this is the same storm so we aren't getting anything at, at least outside of Madison as far as the damage is concerned yeah. But this, this tore a path, and so we're likely going to start, as people are coming out of their safe places, they're going to start sending us, uh, you know, damage photos and kind of surveying what's happened around them. But this was a very intense storm, uh, with, uh, and it's continuing to still push uh, through parts of Switzerland County into yeah. Gallatin County. It's still a considerable threat for them. Yeah, and, and to be clear, the viewing area, the metro is now clear of any major shower and thunderstorm activity. Matter of fact, there's nothing going on in the viewing area. We're just holding on because we want to see if we can get that chopper footage for you as we're traveling off to the northeast towards the Madison area, towards the path where the tornado tore through because reports are coming in, pretty scary reports of homes being completely destroyed, okay? Uh, power, power lines down, uh, trees down, Hail the size of golf balls, if not larger than that, maybe even baseball-sized hail. Matter of fact, check out that black core right there, right on 71. That's not the spot to be right now. Folks are traveling. That black core no doubt corresponds to at least golf ball-sized hail or larger on the north and northeastern periphery of the rotation. Classic supercellular thunderstorm bubbling up around Scottsburg, really maintaining, becoming strongly rotated, rotating, I should say, and that rotation stretched, came down towards the ground, produced that tornado uh, as it moved across the Madison area towards Carrollton as well. And it's still, it still may be on the ground or it might be cycling as well. This is the only supercell thunderstorm we have in the area. It's now moving out of the WLKY viewing area. Tornado warnings along its path uh, and out ahead of it and behind it, things are indeed quieting down. Uh, let me show you the uh, tower cam, guys. Could we go over to the tower cam real quick? Just want to show you outside, show you what's going on around the region because things are pretty quiet right now in the metro. It's warm, it's soupy. Temperatures are in the mid and upper 70s. Uh, but this is live footage right here coming in from the WLKY news chopper of some of the damage from this tornado as it went on through. This is live footage for you. And Daniel, if you would, why don't you come on in here? I need to get an IFB and I need to be able to okay. hear what's going on so yeah. I can talk to the producer, Do we have where this maybe is, the chopper bill. So if you would, take over yeah. for me, Daniel. Yeah, so we're definitely seeing uh, the chopper flying over where some damage is done. Uh, I believe they're heading, or is this the Madison area? Do we know? Yeah, so this is the Madison area uh, where we're witnessing some of this damage. And uh, yeah, you can just see whether that's a home or a barn, but that's completely destroyed. Um, tornado. Yeah, these are not good scenes that you want to see. Trees are completely uprooted, it looks like. Debris all over the place here. There's one house with a roof completely, looks like a just lot of damage. Off. Yeah, just ripped off there. 
um, man, we really hope people took cover uh, and were able to stay safe as this storm rolled through. You can see someone there on the road near the house, just kind of in awe, looking around at the damage. Um, that is just incredible force. And for those folks who wow. are now coming out of their basement and seeing what has happened to their homes, what has gone on outside. Uh, I think we mentioned this earlier, just looking at some of these damage reports that are coming in in Jefferson County, Indiana, but this is near Madison in Milton, Kentucky, where someone was uh, trapped, a uh, trailer had flipped over. So the, the winds were so forceful, they were able to uh, flip, to flip over um, a trailer. And this is why it is so important if you live in a mobile home to find a safe place uh, outside or away from a mobile home you need a structure that is strong and that looks like a mobile that could be a mobile home oh, there or terrible. trailer at least mm -hmm. and I hope that's not where a house is used that to a, be. and that was that a truck Th that, that looks that like looks a like semi either, that's flipped yeah. over and destroyed oh my gosh that's just in incredible and, and there were seeing people outside just there's power lines on the ground, and that's so dangerous, too. If you're coming out and you're seeing power lines on the ground, stay away from them. And try and find a safe place to go after all of this damage. It's just incredible. I have a feeling we're going to get more pictures like this coming in, too, yeah. as we move through the afternoon along the path of that thing. You probably draw a line from just off to the west of Madison, through Madison, Carrollton, VV, and then points off to the east and near Glencoe uh, in northeastern sections of Owen County. And you're gonna see some damage coming in. You can see those, that big home there to the right looks pretty much unscathed, but you can see the damage. It's kind of how scattered. They jump. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's kind of that signature tornado, how it, it does, it's not just one, doesn't plow everything down, it, it just jumps around just destroys everything. Ken, is Bill up there? Can he hear us? It's not Bill. It's not Bill? Who is it? I don't know this point. Okay. The okay, okay. Can they talk to us? I'm wondering if we can just get if their analysis of where exactly they are. They Looks like they're climbing. No, not at this time. Okay. We'll try to get some audio from those guys up in the chopper a little later on, but as it stands right now, not able to do that. But yeah, there you go. You can see that damage. Uh, in the trees there, a lot of trees knocked over, a lot of debris kind of flung into those trees. Uh, just a, a, a terrible, terrible situation. From, yeah, and from what I was looking at, if you looked at the damage when we were zoomed out a little bit more, as you guys mentioned, the one house was fine, but you could see the path of the storm that looked like it went right across the river, uh, which it could have went through Madison, and this is damage from Milton. So this is the Milton side of the water. Okay. Uh, so Madison, likely we had reports of damage there. This is Milton, so this thing likely crossed uh, the water as it traveled and, and did this damage. So You can see that big barn right there just completely destroyed. And then to the trees there as well, the storm moved off to the east, slightly south of east. And Mo, this thing was humming, wasn't it? 40, 50 miles an hour? It yeah. started off around 50 miles per hour. It slowed down to 45 and 40, then picked back up to 45. Either way, it definitely caused some major damage. See just... where it did the damage right up toward the water line? Yep. It looks like that could have went where it could have come on shore or went into the water. This is the this is Milton, so. And I'm wondering yeah. how the Milton Madison Bridge fared in this, but we were seeing uh, the damage in Madison as well. That was when we first found out that there was a confirmed tornado in Madison. And you can just so. see the path, look at that. They're very localized, too. I mean, like you mentioned, one house is fine, but mm -hmm. if you're right in that specific path of damage, I mean, that's where all the destruction was done. But, I mean, you can see the debris and the path of where that's... It's flattened along the water line. Yeah, you can right. see, like, all the trees still exactly. standing, and then where that sun is kind of lit up. I wonder if they can pan over to the other side. It looks like I do see a little bit of damage on the other side. And there's the well. Milton Madison Bridge there, Okay, looks so the like. bridge looks fine. Okay, so this, this is Milton, right? Here on the left-hand side, the bottom portion of your television set. And up to the top, that's the Madison area. That's the path the tornado took. If you would, put that video behind me, if, if you guys can. Um, let's, yeah, there we go. So here's Madison. So the tornado is, is suspected to come from this direction and then move yeah. uh, on into far northern Kentucky, the Madison area, and continued 
actually to move across the Carrollton area. Mm -hmm. Do we have reports in from Carrollton, guys? I'm not seeing anything yet, yet. but I'm going to continue to monitor okay. the, the channels and... Okay, it, it, no doubt, looking at the radar, it was wrapped up. Looks like we had a little bit of a debris ball in spots as it was tracking east-southeast quite rapidly. Uh, some of the rotational velocities really kind of reminded me that it, this could easily be EF2. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, National Weather Service, no doubt, will be doing their assessment going forward. We'll check out what's going on, but at this point in the game, that really doesn't matter. The damage is done as this tornado has moved on through, and you can see whatever this structure was, uh, and boy, that's hard to tell. Certainly looks like somebody's home, unfortunately, obliterated by this storm, uh, and uh, uh, you can see the rest of, it's still the Milton area, guys? I believe it is. I'm pretty sure it is. I think it's still the Milton side. Yeah, it's still the Milton side. But you can see that's, that's exactly where this thing came ashore, or across the Ohio River anyway. And you can see the tree damage. Look at that house right there. My goodness, sustaining quite a bit of roof damage. Even And that looks like, that looks like a brick house right there to me. Is that, is that right? So s some pretty substantial yeah. damage there. And you can see that structure right there as well. Also, uh, And you have the house right next to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Jumped over it, right over it. All right, let's kind of recap. Let's see what's going on across the entire viewing area. The supercellular thunderstorm is out of the viewing area, okay? It's well off to the northeast, up the I-71 corridor, and is actually now on top of the I-71, I-75 confluence there south of Covington it's out of our region the rest of our area is dry right now it's actually weather wise I hate to say this in in light of what just happened to the north northeast of the metro it's actually quite beautiful out there right now it's breezy it's warm it's partly sunny temperatures are pushing 80 degrees but now we wait for the next round of storms to come in later on tonight and the storms that do come in later on tonight are going to be more widespread we think that we're going to see some scattered storms first fire up in central and southern indiana back through illinois on a scattered basis we're going to have to watch those as well for possible supercells and maybe even isolated tornadoes those are expected to grow upscale kind of congeal into a linear more fashion, if you will, a line, and then track off towards the southeast, and the primary threat becoming wind and maybe some hail. This is the severe weather threat for later tonight through the overnight period, and about the, oh, northwestern two-thirds of the viewing area, we have a slight risk for severe weather on a scale of one to five. It's not huge, but we got to watch it, folks. It's a two. We have a lot of wind energy out in the atmosphere. We have a lot of instability. So at least the potential is there, okay? And that threat drops off as you move farther off to the southeast, as you get down to near Bardstown, Hodgenville, Campbellsville, Greensburg, Columbia, as well as Munfordville, drops a little bit to a marginal risk or on a scale of one to five, a one, okay? So we still have that threat, but it looks like to us, okay? We've been watching the situation quite closely. It looks like this is going to be more of a a, um, a, a widespread event for later on tonight and uh, through the overnight, but the rest of the day, the first part of the evening, it's looking quiet across the region, okay? Uh, there's, your, there's your threat once again, but things are certainly on the quiet side. Live look outside right now, downtown Louisville. We have partly sunny skies. It's breezy. It's certainly warm as temperatures are now in the upper 70s. Looks like we'll get very close to that 80 degree mark by the time everything's all said and done uh, uh, later this afternoon. So uh, let's go back. Do we, have, uh, do we have any more chopper footage or is that down? Ty, do you know? It's down for right now? Okay. Uh, so weather-wise, I mean, things are looking quiet. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to get you back to programming here pretty quick, okay? Um, and uh, as more information comes in, we'll either A, break in and show you what this tornado produced off to the north northeast and of course we'll have the very latest on this tornadic thunderstorm the damage that occurred with it as it passed on through and a look at your detailed forecast which includes 
an additional chance for showers and storms later this evening through the overnight, and we'll have that for you at 5 o'clock. In the interim, for Daniel, for Mo, for everybody here at WLKY, thank you very much for, keep, for letting us keep you and your family safe and informed. And again, for the rest of the afternoon, first part of the evening, it looks like it will be on the quiet side. We'll see you at 5 o'clock. Take care.